Welcome to the first ever episode of Keeping Well at Home. We are going to follow our lovely fitness instructors, Emma and Richie, as they show us some simple movements we can do from home that will aid mobility and keep us all moving. So today we're gonna to be looking at mobility exercises. The first exercise we're gonna look at is side bends. So let's first set ourselves up so you can either be standing or in a seated position. Feet are going to be shoulder distance facing forwards and then want to think about that nice length up through the crown of the head as we sit or stand. Arms just hanging down by our sides, shoulders down away from our ears. So I want you to visualise that you're stuck between two panes of glass so all we're going to do is bend the spine to each side. Okay? So first we're going to bend down to the side initiating the move with the crown of the head and then we stack in the bones all the way back up as we lengthen and then change in the direction. So as we do this we're trying to keep the pelvis nice and still. And all we want to do is bend the spine to the side rebuilding and then back the opposite way. So we're aiming to do about five each side. So our next mobility exercise is for our shoulders. So we're going to do shoulder shrugs. So first of all, we need to set up so we've got good posture. Feet, hip width apart, whether you're sitting or standing. If you're in a seating position, I just want you to sit up nice and tall, sitting on your sit bones. If you're standing, nice soft knees, lengthen up through the, your, your ribs, lengthen through the crown of your head, standing nice and tall. Same if you're in a seating position, backs are up nice and straight, lengthen up through the crown of the head. From here, all we're going to do is we're going to lift our shoulders up towards our ears and then slowly lengthen on the way down. All right, so we lift up and we lengthen all the way down. As we lengthen down, it's important that you try and feel the stretch across down, down the sides of your neck and across your shoulders. We should be aiming to do eight to 12 reps. And we should try and do it a few times throughout the day. Last one. The exercises that we show you should become part of your daily routine and you should try and do them regular throughout the day. A good little tip would be to keep an exercise diary. This will show you how much you've done and if it increases over time. Remember, when you're doing these exercises, you're standing up tall with your feet hip width apart or you're sitting up nice and tall on your sit bones. Try and keep good posture throughout the exercises and you can fit them into your daily routine. If you keep an exercise diary, you can also check up on your progress. And if you'd like to give some more exercises a go, you can visit the website of Gateshead Older People's Assembly or you can give them a call. Hey.